The Tonga explosion has now been dubbed as the world's biggest volcanic eruption in more than 30 years. The true scale of destruction is only now coming to light. Two deaths from the disaster are now confirmed and scientists are warning that the Tonga eruption may damage the environment for years to come. Welcome to Beyond's Climate Tracker. My name is Priyanka Sharma. A volcano that exploded on the Pacific Island nation of Tonga has now almost disappeared from view. Large parts of the country currently remain covered in grey dust. Other parts of the island nation were damaged by a tsunami. In fact, New Zealand said that two people have now been confirmed as killed, citing Tonga police on the island. One of the two confirmed dead was Angela Glover, a 50-year-old British woman who ran a stray animals charity. She was reported missing by her husband after the tsunami hit. It has been three days since the Tonga volcano exploded. The eruption cloaked Tonga in a film of ash, triggering a Pacific-wide tsunami and releasing shock waves that wrapped around the entire planet. But with phone lines still down and an undersea internet cable cut, the true toll of the dual eruption tsunami disaster is not yet known. Satellite images released showed just the open sea, where most of the volcanic structures stood above sea level a few days ago. Only two relatively small volcanic islands were still visible above sea level after the eruption. New Zealand released aerial images taken from a surveillance flight revealing a tree-lined coast transformed from green to completely grey by the volcanic fallout. Wrecked buildings were visible on the foreside, alongside others that appeared intact. The eruption was so powerful that it was recorded around the world and heard as far as Alaska. It triggered giant waves along the Pacific coastlines from Japan to the United States. And since then, only fragments of information have filtered out through a handful of satellite phones. The islands are home to just over 100,000 people. And the people of Tonga across the world now fear never seeing their loved ones again. The outside world is still struggling to understand the true scale of the disaster using patchy satellite phone connections, surveillance flights and satellite images. The UN Health Agency said that around 100 houses had been damaged with 50 destroyed on Tonga's main island of Tonga Tapu. The World Food Programme is exploring how to bring the relief supplies and more staff. It's also received a request to restore communication lines in Tonga by deploying its emergency telecommunications cluster. Meanwhile, UNICEF said that once the needs are confirmed by the government of Tonga, the agency is ready to transport its pre-positioned emergency supplies from Fiji and Brisbane uh, warehouses. Tonga's airport is currently working to remove volcanic ash from the capital's runway. This is so that aid delivery can resume. Ash is currently posing a major health concern, contaminating drinking water. Humanitarian aid agencies are also mobilizing their networks to respond to the crisis, to what it has now called the worst volcanic eruption that the Pacific has experienced in decades. New Zealand's Navy ship has departed for Tonga with aid on board. The Red Cross has further said that it was sending 2,516 water containers to the island as of now. The ash is proving quite problematic, um, not just for uh, water and sanitation because Tonga collects its water from the roofs of households, um, but in terms of access for the aid from Australia and New Zealand um, and other flights, uh, they need to clear the runway. Uh, latest information I have is that 60% of the runway has been cleared um, and this is done manually. Um, I hear up to 200 volunteers are sweeping the runway in preparation for um, the supplies to land on Thursday or Friday um, if things uh, happen according to plan. Meanwhile, Tonga could spend days or even weeks cut off from the rest of the world. This is because of difficulty in repairing its sole undersea communications cable. The cable was ruptured during the massive volcanic eruption and the challenge underlines the vulnerability of undersea fiber optic cables. These cables have become the backbone of global communication. Thanks to a capacity to carry data that is about 200 times that of satellites. But the repair of Tonga's critical 827 kilometer fiber optic link to Fiji depends on the arrival of a specialized ship that is now days away. The place where the, the cable lies at the moment is uh, on shallow water. So it's not really a concern for, for the repair work. Uh, the real issue is, is the safety of the vessel and the crew, uh, considering the situation um, 
is going now. So I, I think um, within a couple of days, we should be able to know uh, clearly uh, how, how well we can be able to approach this. Meanwhile, in Peru, golden sand turned entirely black after an oil spill affected kilometers of the shoreline. Some are blaming it on the recent explosion near Tonga. The high tides triggered by the volcanic explosion have now been felt as far away as Peru. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.